On this global challenges, simmering sun. To change the life from cool water to hot water. Residents of China plunge into solar energy. Hello, welcome to Global Challenges. I'm Stan Grant, coming to you from Dirjo, China. As you can see, a hazy day, high levels of pollution. Just the sort of place to focus on alternative energy. That's what we're doing this half hour. Continued instability in world oil prices and growing concern over global warming has people, businesses and governments looking for alternative sources of clean energy. In fact, you could say alternative energy has gone mainstream. Whether it be driving a car or flying a plane, lighting or heating water and homes, the options are there and they're being put to use. Case in point, China, where wind turbines are increasingly seen throughout the country and more and more people are looking to the sun to energize their lives. Welcome to the future. A future when China is run by the sun. Well, perhaps not quite all of it. But certainly here in the city of Dezhou in China's Shandong province. It is known as Solar Valley. Up to 60% of this city is powered by the sun, providing not just alternative energy, but alternative lifestyles to change the life from cool water to hot water, from unhealthy lifestyle to healthy lifestyle. Uh, especially for the peasants, the farmers, they never, maybe in their life, they had, they take bath for only three times. First birth, then death, maybe uh, third marriage. Now they can take bath every day. Huang Ming used to work in the oil business. He saw that as a dead end. The world, he says, will run out of oil. His focus now is on renewable energy. He started his company, Himen Solar Energy Group, 10 years ago. Business is certainly booming. state-run news service PeopleNet says solar energy will grow at about 30% a year. By 2010, sales are expected to double. Huang Ming says his company is growing sales by an astonishing 100% a year. This is the biggest solar water heater factory in the world. It supplies enough heaters for about 40 million families. Now that's about 200 million people enjoying hot baths and also using warm water to wash dishes and clothes, often for the first time. It is changing lives and it's an industry that's expected to grow. Gao Xuxiang uses solar energy for washing and cooking. She likes it. It is clean energy, she says, and keeps the family clean in other important ways. Before, we bathe twice a month. Now we can take a bath every day, she says. In winter, we can shower twice a day. And it keeps the country clean. Much of China is still powered by burning coal. It adds to choking skies. China has the worst air pollution in the world. The World Bank says China has 16 of the top 20 dirtiest cities in the world. China's Environment Protection Agency puts the city of Linfen in Shanxi province at the top of its most polluted list. Local residents suffer in the shadow of towering smokestacks. The smoke comes from the factory. Very black smoke, this woman tells me. The whole village is covered in smoke. The smell is very strong. Solar energy is an obvious, clean alternative. But it still has a long way to go. 
Solar energy is becoming more popular, yet still accounts for less than 1% of China's energy consumption. May. Coal is the main energy China is using. As far as I know, it is around 70% of China's energy use, this professor says. Natural gas is not used much. In long term, this is not enough. We don't have enough coal, and it also causes pollution. China is investigating using clean energy, but this costs a lot of money. Wang Guangming is banking his future on the power of the sun. He sells solar water heaters. Business is good. He says when people realize how much they can save, more will go solar. They have obvious economic benefits, he says. In big cities like Beijing, coal boilers are not allowed to be used anymore. Only electricity or gas can be used. In three years' time, the expenses for gas or electricity would pay for the investment in solar energy. From the factory to the rooftop to the kitchen, more and more Chinese are tapping into the sun's energy. The sloping panels cost from 160 to 750 US dollars each. Expensive for many Chinese, but becoming increasingly common. Wang Ming is a man with a dream. A dream, he says, to power his country and clean up its skies. My dream or my mission is to dominate, to, to invade the, the, the conventional energy. Maybe the task for these 10 years uh, is to substitute 10% of the conventional energy. Uh, then maybe in 50 years, 90%. He's starting small but dreaming big and already proving that dream can be a reality. And that's this edition of Global Challenges. On Terra Firma, I'm Stan Grant in Dojo, China. Please join us again next time.